What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabal games from tabletop to video games and today we are reviewing the Walmart exclusive 25th anniversary Transformers Masterpiece Sky Warp and yes this is actually the figure that I got when I went to the Geek Out convention and I was super excited and it is missing some pieces but luckily we only got this figure for only 10 bucks so it was really worth it because for a sealed version, the market price is around $103. So I actually found lots of it for $130 very easily. And it's not really going that high, mostly because a lot of people didn't like how his robot mode looks. And especially with those extra pieces. But the plane mode is probably one of the best plane modes that we actually have for a masterpiece. Which actually looks amazing. But I'm going to show you in a minute exactly how you could change a few pieces to make it look a lot more G1. But first, friendly reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot. And I really do appreciate it. So let's get started. So a lot of the extra pieces are actually on either pegs or ball joints so it's very easy to remove them so if you want that g1 look you definitely going to have a few pieces to put onto the side but for display purposes it's going to look amazing now i think it's about time we take some close-up looks now looking at that head scope we can see great details there's a little smirk one eye is a bit shut while the other one's wide open the paint application, the Decepticon logos, there's really no complaints that I have of this figure. Everything is just on point. The only thing that I could possibly complain is like all the missing pieces that I have. But besides that, it's actually an amazing figure. So if you're actually planning of getting one that is complete or even in the box, it's definitely one that is worth it. Looking at the bottom half, we could clearly see that it's still retaining a lot of that nice details there is definitely no issues that i have like every aesthetic of it is just on key everything looks amazing there's really no complaints i think it's about time we check some articulation so you have some better shots of the actual figure so starting first with the head yes it could actually turn 360 because it's on a ball it kind of gets intervened because of this and it's a bit like on the back end which is kind of weird but yeah, that's the only like downside I would say. These could actually move forward and back as well. Very nice. Uh, lots of possibilities for the arms, but it is lifting this part. So you're going to have to push downwards over here just to lift the arms. Now the blasters can rotate because it's just on a peg, just like that. And yes, we only have one, which kind of sucks. There is a few finger articulation so and thumb, but only on one side. So we are missing another one, but I'm not really too worried because I do have a 3D pen so i'm planning of actually just making my own pieces and just painting it so i have no problem with that there's actually a nice battle elbow bend as well the wings there's actually quite a bit of articulation for the wings so you could definitely move it outwards like this if you want uh you could definitely move it backwards if you need any cool pose abilities now these besides of the whole thing lifting up you could do separate so it shows cannons on both sides so it's very nice so lots of great details now there's not that much movement for the side, so it can move like a little bit, not too much. But there's definitely a lot of possibilities for the legs. So if we actually move the skirts up, we could definitely kick forward. So it's on a ratchet, but it's very tight, so it kind of scares me a bit. But yeah, it's not really letting me uh, push even more. And then outwards, just a bit. So not too much on the outside lots of knee bends so that's actually good so we could actually do quite a bit of poses so if you need to do any cool poses you definitely can now there is cool functionality now this is mostly for the jet to actually lip up but yeah this actually moves on a ball joint which is nice and then you can actually tilt the feet so if you need more support of him standing it's quite good this part always lifts up because of transformation but yeah so that's mostly because of the script that the whole thing lifts up at the top uh, for accessories, it's quite simple. It's pretty much for the parts that transform. Like I said, it's on a ball joint over here. So to actually place these, if you're actually thinking of removing these, it's very simple. So this ball just here, it doesn't really do anything because it's on the leg. So it's just attached to one piece. So there's that. There's a flap if you want any other aesthetics that you want to do. So usually you could put it like this, but it's a bit too top heavy when you do that. And I would do the other side as well. 
So I'll definitely include these as being accessories since it is very easily removable. But another piece that you have to get, because those are pretty much just gap fillers for the plane mode. So it has a much more smoother area. So same thing over here. If you notice, there's like little pegs over here. Now, if you notice these, that's actually for the coronation. So if you have the start screen masterpiece, uh, the coronation start screen, you can actually put it on him. So they actually work together, which is very nice. I thought that was really neat to have. So yeah, so this goes in, it's kind of hard to find on camera, but yeah, just like that, that's one. And I would do the same over here. Let's see. Ah, there we go. That's two. And then for the next accessory that we have, because it usually comes with a base, but we don't have a base. So we have these. So these actually plug in. So on the plane mode, you could actually plug it in the back like this. So let's just do that. So this actually plug in like that. Or what I've been doing to fill in the gap, since this is missing a arm cannon as well. I've been doing that and been displaying it like this pretty much. Now I think it's about time we check some size comparisons. Here he is next to the MP Plus Shockwave. Here he is next to the Toys R Us exclusive MP Soundwave. And finally, here he is next to the MP Plus Megatron. So all in all, I think it's a very good size figure and pretty much show accurate because, you know, the Seekers were a little bit shorter compared to the rest of the Decepticons. So I actually quite like the size of Skywarp. Now I think it's about time we check his transformation. And here he is all transformed. Now let me tell you, he looks amazing. And yes, he is missing his nose, which kind of sucks and the part that's sticking out i know some of you might think like oh that's just like a michigan it's actually the engine so that was one thing that i was surprised when i was uh checking up on but in all it's actually an amazing like playing mode so i'm definitely going to do some custom pieces of it so we're going to take a close-up look and maybe some size comparison so taking a close-up look look how amazing this is all the decepticon yes we are missing a flap over here but this thing is just on point amazing so yeah these could definitely move and yeah for the thrusters over here you could definitely lift that up so that's really cool and yeah even the wheels move as well so if you want they also rotate so if you want to put it back i believe we're going to have to take this and just flip it up and then we just slide this piece down and then put this down and then these are a lot easier because they just flip like this now there's not really a place to pick because it's either one or the other so Usually these you could store at the bottom of the base and then you could just attach these. So it's really up to you which you prefer. So if you want the single, you want the double, it's your toy, you do as you like. The cockpit actually does open, but we have no pilot, sadly. But it's okay, it is what it is. I think it was only the Toys R Us exclusive star screen that had the pilot included. I'm not a thousand percent sure. I'm not too sure if he did. Other features is also this piece as well that actually opens up. But that's pretty much it. So let's check some size comparisons. So here he is next to Cyclone. Now, as you can clearly see, there is definitely a big difference now, even though he's quite big in comparison. And Cyclone is actually a pretty long figure, so he is missing a cone. But yeah, we could tell off the bat just from here how massive his plane mode is. And just for fun, here he is next to the Ark. So definitely the Ark is a lot bigger. And that's it for a review of Sky Warp. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.